Without stating the obvious, one of the most fundamental skills to acquire in photography is the ability to focus on a subject. On a film camera, you just look at the subject and turn the focusing ring on the lens until the subject looks clear and crisp. You can do the same thing manually on a DSLR, but there are a lot of features built into the cameras that really help you selectively focus on a subject. Autofocus is a convenient feature supported by the lenses we're using. The lenses, coupled with autofocus point selection, make our cameras very powerful image capturing tools. Canon EF and EFS lenses come with autofocus. This is performed by a motor inside the lens. There's a switch on the lens for autofocus, AF, or manual focus, MF. Sometimes you need to manually focus, such as in really low light and low contrast shooting situations, and sometimes when shooting video. In autofocus mode, your lens may hunt around and oscillate trying to find focus. In this situation, it's much easier and faster to just manually focus. But autofocus on the lens is just part of the story. The first thing we need to do is to set the focusing modes on the camera. There's one shot, AI focus, and AI servo. One shot autofocus is used for subjects that do not move, such as a still life or a portrait. The camera stays with the original focus even if you move the camera around. There are great creative possibilities using this mode. The next mode is AI focus. This mode detects whether a subject is stationary or is moving and switches between one shot and AI servo modes. The third mode is AI servo. This is used when subjects are moving, such as a person running by or a car driving by. The camera continuously focuses on the moving subject when you have the shutter release button pressed halfway down. The camera will final focus when the shutter is finally released. So let's go over how to set the autofocus modes on our cameras. We'll start with the 10D and the 30D, since you set autofocus mode identically on both the very first thing you have to do is press the AFWB button, which is in the upper left. AF stands for autofocus and WB for white balance. You press the button and you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the little window, it says one shot. That's the current mode that the autofocus is in. You change the autofocus mode by rotating the main dial. You can see it up above. You rotate it clockwise and it'll cycle through all the different settings. Remember, changing autofocus is with the main dial. If you did the quick dial, which is on the back of the camera, that would change the white balance. We'll get to setting the white balance in an upcoming video. We take a big step up setting the autofocus modes with the T2i and the 7D due to the addition of the quick button. Here's what the rear LCD display looks like after the quick button's been pressed. You can see it's right there below the AV button. You press it and you use the controls to just cycle around the different settings. They're very easy to use. So we want to get down to our autofocus display. Press it and you can see another menu pops up with AI focus, AI servo, and one shot. So you just press the set button, cycle around to what you want, press it again, and boom, there you are. To go even faster, you can of course use the main dial to cycle through the selections, and you don't have to press the set button. The 7D also has a quick mode button, so that's how we'll set our focusing mode. So the first thing we do to activate quick mode is hit the quick mode button, which is in a different position than the T2i, it's in the upper left. We can cycle through the autofocus modes by using the quick control dial in the rear. You can also use the main dial up top. You can get to the different selections by using the multi-controller button. It's kind of like a joystick. And like the T2i, you really don't have to press the set button to activate the autofocus mode. You can press the set button if you want to. That'll bring up your selections. Just cycle through and pick the mode that you want. And like the T2i, you can use the main dial also. These three modes, one shot, AI focus, and AI servo make focusing on these cameras very, very powerful for stationary objects and moving objects. 
but this is certainly not the end of what you can do with autofocus as we'll see in the upcoming videos.